Hi guys, welcome back to Vampire. And uh, we were going to go harass this old dude because we finally found enough information about him to be able to talk him into letting us in to see Dr. No, Nurse Dorothea Crane. Dorothea Crenion. Mr. Petrescu, just one minute, please. You again. Go away. Do I have to be invited inside? wonder. Oh yeah, why am I? I'm like playing with mouse and keyboard. I grab my controller. It's a better way to play this game. IMO. Let's have a man-to-man -man talk. Sir, wait. Stop this nonsense. I know Nurse Crane is here. Shall we speak man-to-man, -man, you and I? <laughs> All right. Speak up. Don't you see we're on the same side? We fight to help the poor, sick, and abandoned. I'm nothing like you, Mr. Doctor. Yes, you are. You too believe in providing medical care without charge. You know what we have to sacrifice to make the world a better place. I have to admit your words have conviction. All right, I'll let you see, Dorothea. Don't make me regret this, though. All right, that was easier than I thought it would be. He's just like, free medical care, and then the guy's like, all right, sounds good. Give me your money. Only five shillings? Damn. I guess, I mean, they're giving it away for free, so they don't make a lot. Oh, let me loot your stuff, too. I'm going to just, like, take all the stuff I can. Antique figure of Vercolacus? Vercolacus? That was a paper? Oh, there we go. It lagged a little. Antique figure. Where is it? I want to. Band dragon. Antique figures of Vercolacus. I don't know. Vrykolacus. Uh, one of my main journeys, I believe I was the most amazed by my. Uh, I'll let you guys pause and read this, actually. This is a lot. I mean, it's not like the biggest thing, but it's kind of a lot. So Vrykels, kind of like the angels, probably. And then, let's see, what do we have in here? Medical stuff, which makes sense. It's locked, <sighs> all right. How dare they lock something? All right, what's up? Oh, hold on, let me come take your money. Okay, now what's up? If you want to talk to Dorothea, you must go across the courtyard and take the stairs. We've not been formally introduced. May I ask your name and occupation, sir? I am Darius Petrescu. I'm here to keep snitches and spies away from Dorothea. And I also run this little print shop. Nice. Print shop. How did you meet Nurse Crane, Darius? Why does she trust you? I'm her oldest friend in England. Dorothea and I share many ideas about this country and about the country we left. You mean occupied Romania, don't you? Even if not directly, I fought against your enemies. Really? Then perhaps you have more in common with Dorothea than meets the eye, Dr. Reed. I know you fought for your country when it was occupied, Darius. Tell me more about it. I know my days are numbered, and I know I won't see my homeland again. But I fought for Romania all my life, and I will until my last breath. But Romania escaped the grasp of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. It's a free country again. But it's not the country I fought for. My homeland is not appeased, Doctor. And I still see a dark future ahead for my people. Romania is that that's where like Dracula was from, no? Transylvania is that a town? I don't know. Do you have any family left? Do you have any family left, Mr. Petrescu? Children I think or it was grandchildren? So. Who knows? I have abandoned my people for so long, they might as well be dead. As dead as I am for them, I suppose. This war won't last forever. 
Did you ever think of returning to your country now it's free? No. I have taught strength and no. determination to my sons and daughters. I'm an old, dying man who only has memories of better times to cherish. Don't be embarrassed, sir. If you must know, my own father disappeared many years ago, and I forgave him. It's quite awkward to talk about our families like this, but... Thank you, Dr. Reed. I appreciate your trust. Tell me everything you know about Camellia, the mute florist. I do not believe in the afterlife, Doctor, but I'm almost convinced Camellia is an angel. She volunteered to give out our medical leaflets. Who is she, really? Do you know where she's from? She's not from around here, that's all we know. Camellia is not even her name. It's her favorite flower. You say she has no close family. Well, there's that awful poet who constantly follows her around like a lost puppy. <laughs> a good man, for sure, but a very poor writer. Really? Wow. Are you not worried for her safety? She is as brave as she is tough, and clever, too. If only I had met her when I was younger. Are you in love with Camellia, Mr. Procescu? Don't be stupid. <laughs> If I had met her when I was younger, we could have won our revolution. <laughs> Don't be stupid. Uh, let's see. So Dorothy's real name is not yeah. Crane. Like myself and many people in this area, Dorothea is from occupied Romania. That's all you need to know. She seems important to the community. More than you can imagine. The West End does not want to hear of Whitechapel's misery. Dorothea is one of the few doing something about it. I know she's important because when I go to my pause menu, she's like the pillar. Tell me everything oh, no, you know. Okay. How do they know anything about the mute? She never says anything. She write down on paper sometimes? Goodbye, Mr. Petrescu. Okay. Well, he knew a little bit. I mean, I don't know how anyone knows anything. I'll just take their word for it. So I need to go through this courtyard straight across to that door. So we're on the other side of that gate, yeah. That we eavesdropped on them through. Um, that's the gate. So on that What's over here? Red Cross. How about down this alley? Any? No? No bad guess. It's all, all safe. Try to teleport around and I couldn't. Oh, it's a fucking germy house right here. Cover your mouth when you cough, dude. Jeez, nobody covers their mouth. Like they didn't have manners back in 1918. Money. Take that. <laughs> I wonder if there's any consequence to like taking all the medicine out of these cabinets and stuff. Probably not. Just loot what you want. Okay, I guess she's upstairs. Uh, that doesn't sound good. Better go help her out. I need help. Yeah, no kidding. He's a skag. Kill him. What do we have here, nurse? Patient Razvan Vasily. High fever running on three days. Complaints of dizziness, muscle aches, and head pain. Diagnosed with influenza. Treatment? Aspirin and Salicin for the fever and discomfort. Liquids for dehydration. But he's having trouble keeping even water down. Decapitate him. Uh, no? Aspirin and salicin, you say? Why not some warm milk and a kiss on the cheek? Where are the quinine salts? 
Tried buying, borrowing, even stealing. There's none to be found, Doctor. He's not convulsing. He's choking. He's not getting any air. Scalpel. Hand me that scalpel. What can I do, Doctor? It's too dangerous to operate with these convulsions. Sedative, Nurse. Do we have any anesthetics? I'm sorry, Doctor. None at all. I'm sure I do. I've looted a bunch of stuff. Oh well. I need to perform a tracheostomy. Short pipe. That rubber tube will do. We're going to cut a passage for air through the neck. Yes, Doctor. He's breathing again, but he's coughing up blood. Internal hemorrhaging. I need to make another incision into the chest cavity to drain the fluids from the lung. Prepare another tube. A thoracostomy? Doctor, we've nothing to fight the infection. We need an aseptic environment. Right then, Nurse Crane. What do you suggest we do? I've no idea. I'm not the doctor. Time is of the essence. We need to perform a thoracic drain. Yes, Doctor. He's still bleeding, Doctor. I'm losing his pulse. The drain must have punctured the intercostal artery. There's too much blood. Are you all right, Doctor? I... I can't see. I must... First, suture the artery. Find the wound. The source of the blood. Needle and thread, Doctor. Good. The stitches are holding. How's he doing? We're losing him. We've lost his pulse. He's dying, Doctor! Mm. A massage. Cardiac that massage. Is, yeah. Now. Cardiac... What? Are you making this up as you go along? <laughs> Massage is always good. We've lost the pulse. He... He's gone, Doctor. Yes. We did everything we could. Truly? Everything you could. Is that how you'll report this in your log? Is this how the war went, piling up one poor corpse beside the next? This was not an influenza-induced seizure. I've never seen symptoms like these on the continent. Neither have I. But the previous symptoms leading up to this attack were the same, indistinguishable from the epidemic. No. There was something more vile in these reactions, something primitive. There have been numerous reports of mental breakdowns caused by the fever that accompanies the flu itself, Doctor. Yes, but... I'd best take some samples of the blood for analysis. you're here to test my bedside manners oh I rest to evolve level up to what do I owe this courtesy I'm here to take your money it's locked it. she locked it again this is locked this is an unfitting place for the illustrious Dr. Reed I suspect it was more than intuition alone that led you to us so how might I be of service, Dr. Reed? I've come to put an end to this insufferable blackmailing, Dorothy. Doctor, you think your warnings scare me? I've stolen and plied, blackmailed and lied, but what else am I to do? I'm all these people have. But why Lady Ashbury? Why her, of all people? She's pristine and proper, all right. 
But that she-wolf in sheep's clothing murders the poor for sport. I have her where she belongs, and I'll milk her for all she's got. Dr. Swansea is a sensible and honest man. He wouldn't have refused your friend's care at Pembroke. It's easy for you to say, Doctor. These people cannot go to the police, nor to the hospital. They don't even speak English. They depend on me for everything. You've convinced me of the sincerity of your actions and their noble justifications. But all the same, blackmail is a crime, and it will stop Nurse Crane. So, are you going to turn me over to the authorities? <laughs> Embrace. Um, I'll try charming her. Listen very carefully, Dorothy. You will erase from your memory everything you pretend to know about Lady Ashbury and Pembroke Hospital. Let that rich bitch off the hook over my dead Nurse body. Nurse Crane, enough. Listen as if your life depended on every word. I know you have a generous heart who gives freely to those in need, but you shall walk away from the shadier streets of your business. I will never abandon... Dorothy, the discussion has come to a close. Your clandestine activities in the Resistance are over. Let it go. I'll... I'll let it go. Yes. All gone. Okay, so I guess that worked. Um, mesmerize level? Oh, District will soon suffer the consequences. Well, whatever, that was my quest, so... Oh yeah, I can't. Okay, that one's locked. What was that? It's been right. okay. it's one of them. What are you guys doing here? Okay. Where'd they come from? How'd they get through Petrescu's door? You know? Turn around, sir. Fuck this you. was mine! He's done for! Oh, come on, I was behind a wall, dude. Even like after I dodge an attack, you still uh Let me get rid of the little guy. Is there a samurai sword here? What is that big thing he's carrying? Oh you... shit, I was in the middle of something. Oh, 
not sure why my first attack misses. Okay, so let's see, I wanted to check upstairs really quick and just see if that one door unlocked after uh, the whole thing with Nurse Crane there. Yep, she's still hanging out. No, it's still locked. Okay. I cannot enter. Alright then, outside of this. Okay, but I I, uh, I got stuff to do, so I'm going to wrap this one up here, and then I will see you guys in the next one. We'll try to figure out. Um, it looks like we're reporting back to Lady Ashbury because we stopped the Black Mill and we finished our objective in that quest, so we'll head back to the hospital and then probably rest and level up and stuff. All right, so I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.